Well, it's the talk of America's military families, a new plan to end U.S. fighting in Afghanistan sometime next year. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta says he wants to speed up the timetable to make that happen. Nanette Sosa has the story. Well, the state of Washington is moving closer to legalizing gay marriage. Thank you very much, Wendy. Honda Motors says it's going to appeal a small claims court ruling in which an L.A. woman won a big judgment. Aren't they going to scratch the I would think, computer yeah. a little bit there? All right. Taco Bell was the source of a salmonella outbreak that sickened 68 people in 10 states last staff. For the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. Micah, two dozen senators voicing their outrage. A New York politician giving a huge donation to Planned Parenthood. Susan G. Komen's sister taking to the airwaves to defend the foundation's decision. And I hit the streets to find out what people in Southern California are saying. Now, although the Komen Foundation is denying that the decision was political in any way, many say it is undeniable, and they are pointing to Karen Handel, a new vice president to the Komen Foundation, as a possible force behind the decision. Handel, who ran for governor of Georgia in 2010, describes herself as staunchly pro-life and frequently called for an end to abortion during her gubernatorial bid. For KTLA 5 News, I'm Leela Feinstein. Leela, thank you.